Hey guys, here's your water droplet tutorial if you were trying to add that to your butterfly. I'm going to show you water droplets on two different types of rocks to show you what a difference it makes uh, to pick a lighter colored rock when you're doing water droplets. You will need black and white paint today, acrylic, you'll need small blending brushes, um, in order to blend your water droplet color together and a fine lining brush as well. You can also use a pencil and draw on your water droplets onto each rock. Change the shape, change the size till you're comfortable with it. Now you make your uh, frame of your water droplet that you're going to be working with, with your black acrylic paint. Then you use your blending brush and you start at the top. If you want to do it from the bottom and do the light at the top, it's completely up to you. But I like starting with the, the dark at the top and the light at the bottom. Now you grab your white acrylic paint and use a fine lining brush and just line the bottom with white paint just so that we can work with it now that we've put a line there and push it up towards the dark paint. Blend it up towards the dark paint. If you're any good at makeup, you'll be able to blend. Although I can't do my makeup, so but I can blend. <laughs> Now just keep adding black and white, black and white until it meets together with a nice smooth color. You don't want it to be choppy from white to gray to black. You want it all to be smooth like it's been airbrushed. So it takes a lot of practice and a lot of blending. As you can see, I keep adding dark and blending it, blending Paint, acrylic paint is always easier when it's a little bit wet. So keep blending it until you're happy with it. I'm adding a little bit more white again. It does take time to get it the way you want it to be. So just add the black, add it if you need it, white if you need it. So I'm gonna start with the next little one here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I add white and push it up to the dark, bring the black, bring it down a little bit just so that I can get a nice gray in the center once I mix a little bit more white. You might have to adjust the colors that you're using depending on the color of your rock as well. Now with this dark rock, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to blend up to the center and bring the black down. They look a little sloppy right now, but we're going to frame them in with a line of black uh, to make them look cleaned up in a second. There. Now I always line the white part with a very fine line just to make sure it's extremely white at the bottoms of the droplet. Don't worry if you go outside the black line, we're going to be covering that with a black line anyway. Now we're going to do some shading underneath the water droplet to make it come off the rock a little bit. Use a really fine shading brush, a small fading brush, and grab a little bit of the black paint and just dab it on really, really lightly underneath that droplet of water. It'll start looking like a real droplet of water, which actually helps you put the shadow in. You can't really see the shading on the dark rock, so already um, this is one of the reasons why I like to use a lighter colored rock when I do my water droplet rocks. Now we take our black paint and we outline our whole water droplet. Mine are not perfect. You can see they're a little wonky, but that's okay. I'm going to outline these ones. They look like cute little water droplets. 
Now we're gonna go to our white paint because we're gonna make the water droplet uh, shine a little bit, make it look a little more realistic. You just put a little bit of white with a little dot on the end of it. Little bit of white. Just keep it in the same curve of your water droplet, no matter how you've curved it. Try and keep that white line at the same curve. There we go. Now we have two little water droplet rocks. We can take them down to my basement and uh, I'm gonna show you a big difference of why I do not like the darker rocks because once I spray it, it changes it dramatically. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing shadows on your rocks. You can use uh, triple thick or crystal clear. I use Krylon, I love them. I think they're great. Um, and whoops, you got to see my toes there. Um, now I'm going to show you how it looks sprayed. You can still see the droplets really well on the light rock, but the dark rock, you can't even tell what that is now. So be very careful with what types of rocks you choose when doing your water droplets.